Hi, my name is Vesna Karapetrova and we're here today at the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society on uh, Tuesday, April the 25th, 2017 to interview Mr. Vlade Dimitrievsky. Welcome Mr. Vlade Dimitrievsky and thank you for sharing your story with us here at the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society archives. I'm happy to be here and uh, I like to be here with you, Vesna, and uh, Virginia also. Okay. Tell us, Vlade, where and when you were born. I was born in Selo uh, Grašnica, Bitlska Okolija, Macedonia. Mm -hmm. And when were you born? I was born April 19, 1944, in Selo uh -huh. Can you tell us a little bit about Grašnica? Where it's located, something interesting Grašnica about it. Grašnica is located uh, uh, something like a north, uh, south of Bitola mm -hmm. and uh, close to the AJ Macedonia, the like uh, to the border. Mm -hmm. It's on the west side from the uh, highway. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got two, 12 kilometers from uh, my village to Bitola. Mm -hmm. So we usually walk uh, three hours, takes us to go to the market. And what do the, what do the people um, produce usually in your village for their livelihood? Well, they produce uh, peppers, tomatoes, uh, mm -hmm. tobacco, tobacco and uh, uh, like all kind of vegetables. beans, uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, beans, a uh, uh, lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Corn. Yeah, also. Corn. And uh, when you were there at the time, uh, how how big was the village? When I was that time there, it was around 100 houses, the village. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. And uh, is it pretty empty right now, as many of the well, villages are? Well, we have a lot of Albanians now. There's another village uh, west of us. Uh, they call it Kishava. They buying houses and they're moving to our village. Kapsivika? Kishava. Uh -huh. So they're buying, they, they're buying houses uh -huh. in my in our village, and they're moving there. Mm -hmm. So we got around 60 houses now, but uh, like uh, it's uh, Macedonian people, two three houses left. Mm -hmm. Two three houses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now t tell us about your parents. Who were your parents, and when were they born? My father is a Vangel Dimitrievski, born in Selo Grašnica. Beatles Kolja is born uh, September 24, 1914. Mm -hmm. 1914. And your mother? My mother also, she's born December 1st, 1914, Selo Velushina, Beatles mm -hmm. And uh, so she was from another Selo Velushina? Yes. And what is the name, uh, your mother's name? Sveta. My mother's name is Sveta. And do you know yeah. her maiden name? Uh, Dimovska. Uh -huh. Sveta Dimovska. Okay. And um, tell us about uh, your brothers and sisters. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three sisters. Two of them, they are older than me. One of them, she's younger than me. And uh, my older sister, her name is Marica. Marica? Marica, she's uh, born September 4, 1938 mm -hmm. in Selo now, Marica is here in Canada now? She is here in Canada, yes. Uh, she is married to Naomi Apostolovsky. And uh, tell us about your other siblings. You have another sister? I have another sister. Her name is uh, Zorka Kotevska. Also, she is uh, older than me. She is born March 16, 1942. Mm -hmm. And she is married also. She got uh, two kids. And she's and living here as She's well? living also in Toronto. Okay, do you have any other sisters? I have another younger sister. Mm -hmm. She's 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. She's born uh, April 24. That was yesterday. And uh, she's uh, born 1954. And she's living here in Canada. And her name? In Toronto. Her name is Sevda Smith. Okay. Now, you have brothers as well? I got no brothers. I wish I have. I so you know. were, you're the only boy in the only family with three sisters. Yes, that's what I'm and everybody's well. now yes. here. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, um, 
How about your grandparents, uh, Vlade? Can you tell us about who they were? Well, my grandparents, my father, father, my grandfather, his name is Pase Dmitrievsky. He's born in Sevo Grashnica. That's all I know. I don't know what day and uh, what month. Mm -hmm. So, okay. my uh, father, mother, that's my grandfather. He looks like what's a devil. Uh -huh. No, he's, uh, he, he's born in Selo Grashnica, and uh, that I was two years old when he died. Right, so, so his uh, name is? His name is Pase Dmitrievsky. Uh -huh. Okay. And from your mother, uh, do you know about your grandma? My, my, my grandmother? Yeah. My grandmother, she is born in Selo Lajic. Okay. Also, her name is uh, Božna. Dimitrievska, that's all I remember from, that's from, my, father's side. from my father's side. And from my mother's side, yes. uh, my mother, father, my grandfather was named Jovan Dimovsky. He's born Selo Velushina, Vitovska Okolia. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother from my mother's side, her name is Stoina. She's born in Selo Dragos, Vitovska Okolia. Mm -hmm. And we have a picture there. Can you tell us a little bit about the picture? This is my father when he was in the army. Mm -hmm. So... Do you know what army it was? Uh, what war he, he was uh, fighting in? Well, he was a partisan. When the time of the Germans was in uh, Yugoslavia and Macedonia, and my father was a partisan for three he years. Was uh, he was on the Allied side? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I can tell you when he's born, like my father is born 19... Oh, I told you already, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay, yeah, I mentioned that before. Yes, yeah, so your yeah, father, did, did he tell you stories of the war? He told me a lot of things, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, he wants to come and see the family home, but they couldn't make it. Uh, he was uh, from mountain to mountain and uh, fighting to, mm -hmm. to push the... Uh, was a, we have a Bulgarian people in the village, we have a German people, mm -hmm. they occupied the village that time. Yes. And uh, he told me, I was, I think, a year and a half old that time, mm -hmm. and uh, because they stay in our house, our house was the best house in the village. Mm -hmm. Big house, and uh, the army, they stay in our house. And uh, my mother was saying, like, uh, the German, they give us a little bit sugar, flour, whatever we want, but the Bulgarian was more nasty, and uh, we don't get nothing from them. Mm -hmm. This is what they Little. tell me, yeah. yeah. So this is what they tell me. Right. Okay. And um, with uh, your, your parents and your grandparents, what language did they speak all the time? That Macedonian language. My mm -hmm. parents and my grandparents, they speak uh, Macedonian language. Right. Yeah. And how about uh, your aunts and uncles, um, Vlade? Were, were most of them in your village as well? My aunts and uncles, uh, some of them in the village, some of them, uh, they went to Skopje. Two of my uncles, my father's brothers, uh, they went to the police force in Skopje. They worked yeah. in the police yeah, force? Yeah, in the police force in Skopje. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of them came here, 1962, one of my uncle, mm -hmm. and he passed away about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Vlade, you talked about uh, your father being in the army and uh, sharing some stories about the German occupation. Did it, uh, was there any kind of a village a bombing in your village? Did, did he talk about that kind of experience? There was no bombing in the village, no, no bombing in the village, but uh, People was a uh, scare, mm -hmm. you know, what they told me was a scare. Mostly they take everything, they take uh, mm -hmm. livestock, you know what I mean, for, to feed the army. Yes. And uh, always they, they take something. They like uh, what they, whatever they need, they take. Nobody can stop them. They so never asked, right? They never yes. asked. Yes. No, they never asked. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this was during the, the German occupation. Yes. After, after that war, we had the Macedonians from Aegean Macedonia uh, who were also uh, kicked out of their uh, 
villages and many of them came to Macedonia. Did, do you remember any kind of uh, stories from your parents about that war? Were the Macedonians from Aegean and Macedonia? Not uh, very much because uh, that time I was too young. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember very much. No. Of them coming to the to your village or anything like no, that? No, 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 mm -hmm. nobody come to my village. Yeah, from I think it was from Aegean, Macedonia, nobody come to my village. Yeah, I think it they was... went to Bitola and Skopje. Yeah, and the Prespa, Prespa villages. And Prespa That's villages, right. yes. Yeah, you were more in uh, the... We belong to Bitola. Uh, Bitola. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, Vlade, tell us about uh, your village and... Um, how big it was and uh, your memories of your village? Well, my village was the best village from all the villages there. Not because it was my village, our village, because we have uh, mountains, we have uh, land, we have uh, livestock, lots, and uh, farming, and uh, water, cold water, like a river, big river. It was the best village in the... Uh -huh. What river is that, Vlade? Well, they call it Grajka Reka. Grajka Reka. Grajka uh -huh. Reka. Mm -hmm. so, so that, that helped with yeah, that the, helped the, for the to, fields. To water the fields. Yes. And the, the livestock didn't water. Mm -hmm. And you uh, water the garden and everything else. But uh, we have the biggest and the better river than any other villages from that uh, place. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. so your memories of your village, what, what, what are some happy memories of happy your memory, village? Yes, uh -huh. Happy memory, yes, happy memory. When I was a kid, I used to, like, uh, I went to school in the village and, uh, like, I finished uh, grade four in the village and uh, we went to Velushina, it was a gymnasium. Mm -hmm. And I take another four years there, I finished, and from there, I was 15 years old, and I stopped. I never went to Bitola to... Mm -hmm. Get uh, extra horses. Right. Do you know why you stopped going? Well, I stopped just to help my parents with the farm. That's the reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, they needed your help. Yeah, they need my help. My mother was a little bit uh, was not that feeling well, mm -hmm. and uh, I gotta help my parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the time came, when I was 18 years old, like I went. Mm -hmm. A few friends will run away from me. Right. We'll get to that. That's a yeah. very interesting okay. part of your life. Tell us about your schooling. What language um, did you speak in your in your school? Well, in my school, Macedonian, we take uh, courses uh, Serbian language, mm -hmm. Serbian Croatian, and French. I learned a little bit French. So when I went to grade five, six, seven, and eight, we learned French. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, but in the beginning, Macedonian language. Right. For the first four years. There was no Serbo Croatian, there was no. Mm -hmm. uh, when, we, when I went to grade five, we started Serbo Croatian and French. And six, that was seven, one, and eight. Just one subject. Just one right? subject, yes. Right. So by this time, Macedonian, Macedonian was the Republic of Yugoslavia? Yes. When you that time was the Republic to... of uh, Yugoslavia, Macedonia. Mm -hmm. So time. you would have started school in 19. Uh, I started school in 1951. Uh, yes. That's right. 1951. And uh, Vlade, uh, tell us about uh, what you remember in your school with your friends. Any kind of uh, games, activities? Well, we had a lot of fun. Uh -huh. We had a lot of fun. We used to play football. That was number one sport. We don't have a ball, but we used to put in a socks, grass inside, you know? And uh, we used to play football because... Uh, uh, what no did you put in the socks? Grass. Okay, so you'd make a ball. Yeah, we make a ball from, uh, yeah. from the socks. Yeah, uh -huh. from the, and we play ball. We play the game uh, Kotka, uh, soccer. We play uh, Sulu. I don't know. How do you play Sulu? Sulu, you just uh, on a floor. You make it uh, two lines and you divide it like that, mm -hmm. and you put pieces like a stone or something, and you kick with one leg. You okay. just kick with one leg. They call it Sulu. And the point is and, whoever uh, kicks... Whoever kicks uh, all the way to the end is the winner. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, we used to play... Uh, I forgot how they call it in English. Uh, Dolga Magarica. Mm -hmm. So we jump, uh, one guy stay, and the other people jump over him. 
you jump and you stay. They jump over you and they continue going around. Okay, so you, you know? had a lot of uh, yeah. activity, fun yeah, activities. Yeah, we play Dama, we play uh, a lot of games. Like, mm -hmm. uh, we have fun. Mm -hmm. And how about in your village? What are some fun uh, celebrations that you remember? Well, I remember when I was a kid, we was uh, waiting for Easter to come with the red eggs with a little bit uh, uh, candle, nice uh, design candle from Bitola. Mm -hmm. My parents, they used to buy me and uh, go to the church and uh, also Easter, Christmas we used to go. We celebrate uh, a few other uh, dates like uh, we call it Sveti Atanas. The whole village was celebrating that day, like it was a, like a, a for village, entire village, like a village, village uh, uh, saint yeah, day. Saint, yeah, Saint Day, uh -huh. and also we have another like a, a Sveti Georgia uh, in May, Saint George in yeah. May, and we have a, a Sveti Dimitri in uh, November. Mm -hmm. We celebrate a few other. And Sveti Atanas in Sveti Atanas was in uh, January twenty first. So all through we the year we had uh, celebrations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, be around maybe a few weeks. We we'll celebrate something. And how about of your childhood? What do you remember about uh, life with your family in your childhood? Was uh, was it a, a hard um, a hard life, or or did you have enough uh, with your well, family? Well, I was the only one boy in the family. I was a little bit spoiled. Mm -hmm. Okay, my parents they always hide eggs or milk from my sisters, they want to feed me mm -hmm. because only one boy and I was not, uh, I was a little bit spoiled, i tell you right now mm -hmm. and uh, I was happy. So and, you don't uh, remember any hardships? No, no, I, when I used to fight with my sisters, mm -hmm. the older sisters, sometimes we fight, you know, it's okay. always uh, something happened but after you fight, you together again. Yeah, you make Hug up. each other, make up after. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. And... Uh, now, did you like school, Vlade, when you were, you mentioned you went to first up to grade four and then you continued? Yes, uh, I was good school? at math and uh, history. Mm -hmm. That was my two best subjects. Yeah, I like school, of course, yeah. And you yeah. had to stop because... I had to stop to because of uh, help the family. Mm -hmm. That's why I stopped and uh, my father doesn't have money to send me to higher level like a uh, uh, university or things like that. Yeah. And then uh, at a very young age, we were only 18, you decided to leave your village. Tell us about well, that decision. Well, when I was uh, uh, 18, that time, uh, we want to emigrate somewhere. So it was uh, like a... I don't want to go to the army and uh, my two cousins and another friend, we decided one night, we see opening people going, they run away to Greece and from Greece you can go to states or uh, Canada, Australia or any other country, Belgium, Sweden, anywhere like uh, and we decided one night we're gonna go to Greece and we did. We get together, we run away. So... Uh, now, when, uh, tell us, uh, Vlade, why you decided to leave? Because you knew that you would be leaving your village and your family. I tell you the truth. We was poor but happy. We was uh, just uh, kids, you know. We see other people, they done it before us. We want to do it the same thing, okay? We want to go to America, we want to go to States, to Canada. So you wanted so, to, to, to have an adventure? To have an adventure, to, yes, to yes, another, yes, another yes, way another, of life. another way of life, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we did, like, we went to Greece and we had, uh, like, a Red Cross was coming there to register. So how did it go through the, like, what did you, how did you cross the border? What happened that what? night? What happened that night? I'm going to tell you what happened right now. Okay, that night we went to, is the one shop in the, every village in all country, they call it Zadruga. We went there 
We stay there, we discuss with my friends, my cousins and the other guy. So what time we should go and how we should do it. Uh, nobody can find out and this and that we discuss, okay. Here's my father, find out we're gonna run away. He comes after me. So as he comes there, he says, what are you doing here? Let's go home. But your father didn't know. No. My father, my parents, nobody know in the village, not even my family, not even my father, no. Because if he knows my father, I was the only cat in the family, he never let me. You can get killed at the border, when you cross the border, it's not easy. And uh, as soon as uh, I say to my father, why you talk to me like that in front of my cousins, my kids? I says, you go home, two minutes after you, I'm coming home. You just wait for me. So as my father left the door, he went about 20 feet away, and I says to these guys, let's go, because my father is going to come back. Mm. And uh, we went uh, east side of the village, and the border is closed. We know, we play soccer close to the border. So we know the place where to go. So as we went to the border, and uh, it was raining that night, two soldiers with a dog, German Shepherd, mm -hmm. and uh, in the front of us, and uh, we stopped breathing. We stopped. We got, uh, you know, scared, and we stopped for a second. Those guys talking uh, Serbian language or Croatian, or whatever, and uh, they say it was raining, heavy rain. He says, we're not going to stay here. We're going to move on. We're going to the Karaula. How do you... The... the, uh, the where they stay, where the... Yes, to the... The army, to yes, the, the going base. To the, to the building. To, to the, the base, building, to yes. the base, yes. They, they went there. As soon as they went there, and uh, we go down on the floor, and uh, slowly... You're crawling. Crawling. Uh -huh. We was crawling. We... Uh, we passed the border, mm -hmm. we went about 50 feet away, and when we get up, we celebrate, hurrah, hurrah, we start yelling. Yeah, we celebrate, we are free, uh -huh. free. And uh, we went to one village there, uh, that village is named Sveta Petka. Okay. I have an uncle there. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my Baba, I have a sister there. And we went there, and uh, my uncle says, what are you guys doing here? He says, how did you guys come? We told them the story, everything. So Svetopetka is a, a Macedonian village now Macedonian in Macedonian village occupying Egypt, yes. Yes, part. occupied by the Yes, it's close yeah. to the border. Right. Yeah. And, uh, okay. So you had relatives They give us, uh, they feed us there. Mm -hmm. And he says, I can't keep you longer here. He says, after a few hours, I'm going to report you to the army, to the Greek army. Mm -hmm. So what he did, he take us to the army. From there, they take us to Lerin. We stay for a month. In Lerin. What did you do in Lerin? Lerin nothing. Lerin. Uh -huh. Nothing. We just uh, stay there, go walk. You can go any place you want. They told us if you want to go back, you can go back. Nobody can stop you. Uh -huh. And uh, we just go to the market there, fool around like a kid. You know what I mean? 18 years. Uh, uh -huh. You just go there, everywhere. And uh, uh -huh. from there, they take us to Solum. In Solum, they put us in a police station. That place is a, like a, with a wire round. You cannot escape, you cannot go out of that place. So no shopping, no going around. You just stay there, they fit you there, you got everything there. Whatever you do, you got everything Was there. Was it like a refugee camp? Like a refugee camp, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we stay for a month there. After that place, they take us to Lavrio. Lavrio is a, uh, it's a close to Turkish border, like a, it's uh, uh, north from Athens, north from uh, Piraeus, mm -hmm. and we stayed there. Like it was, we was there like 700 people that time from Yugoslavia. So you were in another camp yeah. called another camp. Lavrio, Lavrio, Call Lavrio, close to, yes. uh, close to Athens and, to uh, Athens and uh, yeah, and Piraeus was uh, uh -huh. somewhere there. Stayed there for 11 months. And what did you do there? Like, what was uh, life in the uh, <coughs> refugee village, in the refugee camp like? Well, over there, you have to report six o'clock. You have to be in the front of your bed, like an army. You have to report. There's uh, two police going patrolling, and they check if you are here or not. And uh, one is a breakfast. Do you line up? 
you take and you go to eat. And uh, you got to do like, a, I find a little bit like a part-time job there somehow, you know what I mean? They let us, if you can find yourself something, go ahead and do it. Because when you're young, you got to eat. What they give you here, they give you like a, a one spoon soup and... Uh, Not enough. Yeah, suit yourself now. And uh, I find a little job there, like a part-time, and uh, I buy extra things for myself. What did you do? So, well, uh, what I did, the guy was doing like a... Uh, how do they call an English uh, bar? Uh, uh, he was making some... Paint? Paint. paint, yeah, like yes. a paint. It was a small factory. Uh -huh. It was a five, six For people. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it was almost like a paint, paint, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, putting in a shelf, things like that, mm -hmm. and uh, helping the guy there. So he used to give me uh, 40 drachmas a day, like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And that helped me. Now, were there many yeah. Macedonians there with you who had come from other villages also waiting in the camp? Uh, yes, for my village was a four or five from the other villages was a lot at that time. A lot of 19, Macedonians. Yes, 62 when we went there was a lot of Macedonians. Mm -hmm. So it was almost 700 people from Yugoslavia, but the Macedonians was 200 people. Yes, yeah. why do you think the Macedonians were leaving Macedonia at that time? Well, they want to emigrate somewhere. They, they want to emigrate somewhere because, because, uh, uh, because uh, there was no work was no work that time, you know, and uh, like too many people, uh, people wants to work for better life and, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, you and your friends, when you went over the border, you said you were so happy when you crossed to the Greek border that you, well, we, you, we, you we, said we're we, free, we're free. We are free because yeah. uh, what did nobody, you mean by that? well that means if they catch you, mm -hmm. you go in a jail or if you don't stop, they kill you. Mm -hmm. So when you escape, you pass the test. Mm -hmm. So you pass the test. And uh, so was the was the re the refugee uh, camp in Athens? Did you say, or was it a little bit south of Athens? The Lavrio? No, it was south of Athens. Lavrio was not in Athens. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was south of Athens. Not yes. far. Lavrio was a small city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, small city was a like a. a Smaller than Bitola, mm -hmm. yeah, small city. Okay, yeah. and then uh, what happened in the camp as you, uh, how did you get the uh, chance to come to Canada? Well, was a lady named Rul. She used to come. What was her name? Rul, Rul, uh -huh. Rul. Her name was Rul. She was like a, working for the Red Cross. She used to register everybody like uh, in the logor, in the, in the camp, in the camp. Mm -hmm. she was registering everybody. And she, you have a choices now. Uh, do you want to go to Belgium? You want to go to Sweden, Australia, United States or Canada? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to go to Belgium or Sweden, maybe in six months, short period. If you wait for states, you can stay in Greece three years, sometime it's not easy. And uh, the reason I ch choose Canada because my aunt, my father's sister was here. Mm -hmm. That's why I come to Canada for that reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, How long did it take you to come to Canada since you explained to them that you want to come here? How long from... Uh, in the camp, how long did you stay oh, in the I camp? I stayed 11 months in the camp. Mm -hmm. 11 and, months. And did, you, did your aunt have to uh, sponsor you? Or? Well, my aunt, uh, well, I gave to that lady from my aunt, only they borrow money for my trip from the Bulgarian church from here. They borrow money to pay for my your boat. Aunt? Your aunt? Yeah, my aunt mm -hmm. with my uncle. They borrow money from the Bulgarian church. When I came here, I paid that money back with the 500 bucks that time. Now, do you know which church it was? Uh, Saint? Was a St. George or... Or St. George? I, I think it was a St. George. St. George. I okay. think it was a St. George, yes. So that yes. was a Bulgarian-Macedonian yes, Macedonian church. A, so the it was people, a Bulgarian-Macedonian church 
Mm -hmm. I have to pay the money back, and I did. So they gave your yes, the, aunt money yes, to bring you. To bring me, yes. Mm -hmm. So your aunt actually yes. sponsored you with the help of the yes, with the help Macedonian of the, church. Yes, from the Macedonian St. George's. church, St. George's. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's interesting. And then, uh, how? What was your trip like? Where did you? Uh, from where did you come? Well, we take the boat from Pirea, Greece, but the boat was a. Uh, the name of the boat was Olympia. And when did you leave? Uh, we left there like uh, uh, the end of May. 19... Ni the end of May, 1963. Okay. The end of May, and we arrived in Halifax in the immigration June the 12th. And this was with your friends as well, well the original no, friends? No, everybody no? went different way, separate way. Okay. Yeah, one of my friends went to, uh, as a matter of fact, two of us would come here, mm -hmm. my cousin and I. One of my cousins went to Australia, the other one went, went to Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we separate, just two of us, we came here in Canada. Two of you. And yeah. when you came to Canada, you landed in Halifax, you said? We landed in Halifax. Uh -huh. They give me a five dollar. I still keep those five dollar home, you know, just for souvenir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they give us five dollar, and from from Halifax we went to the immigration, and after that uh, we come with the train to Toronto Union Station. And tell to, us about uh, who waited uh, for you at the station and how it was when you arrived. Uh, at the station, my uncle and my aunt and my two cousins. They are younger than me. They're waiting at the station there, mm -hmm. and uh, as soon as we arrive, that time uh, uh, I was a little bit from the boat, sea water. I was not. Uh, you were not feeling well. Feeling well, mm -hmm. and the train two days traveling, you know, and uh, I was weak, weak. Hardly I can stand up on my feet when I arrive in the Union Station. So mm -hmm. traveling. Uh, uh, ten days with the boat, two days with the train, and hungry and uh, yes, vomiting, seasick, sea -sick, sea -sick. Vomiting. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's not easy. Yeah, so and, you had uh, a hard trip. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a hard trip, yes, mm -hmm. hard trip. Some people were singing in, a, in the boat, eating, drinking, singing, but not me. I was on the bottom of the boat, mm -hmm. just... Uh, you were not and, having uh, a good journey. Yeah. Thanks God, uh, one guy was, uh, we was two people in the room, and uh, he used to bring me some, uh, some peppers and a tomato, a little bit, just to keep me alive, mm, you know, every okay. day. Because I don't know, like uh, even when I came in Toronto, when I take streetcar, I have to get up every two stops because uh, I get sick from the motion. Maybe. Motion, motion, yeah, sickness. something like that. Yeah, I don't know why. Right. So when yeah. you came to Toronto, then you you felt better after a few days oh, yeah. with your aunt. Well, well, when I came to Toronto, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I met a few people there. I stayed with my aunt for a while, mm -hmm. for about a year, one year with my aunt. And uh, this, your aunt's name? Velika uh -huh. Mitkos. And Velika Mitkos. That's her and she mother. was married to? She was married to Mike Mitkos. Mm -hmm. And where, was he, where, was, uh, did they get married in Macedonia? Or they got married in Skopje. He was a policeman, my uncle. Uh -huh. They got married. He was born in AJ site, my uncle, but uh, when he was a policeman in Skopje, mm -hmm. and uh, my uh, other uncle was policeman, they meet mm -hmm. each other, and my sister went to visit her brother, they meet there, and they got married. Right. Now, uh, Vlade, you were in your village uh, for about 18 years, so yes. you know a lot about what was uh, you know, going on and happening in terms of the situation uh, all along. Uh, was your village involved at all in the civil war in Macedonia? Uh, civil war from the Aegean part? Uh, when no, just... no. The men, mostly the, the men, they went to fight. The partisans, Yes. not too many men stay in the village because mm -hmm. what my father told me, mm -hmm. so I was just a year and a half old, I don't remember nothing, but uh, what my father told me was mostly the men, they were partisans, fighting against the, the, Germans. the Germans, you know, yeah. and uh, mostly women there, the right. village, mostly women, they stay in the village. Right. 
Okay, so with in terms of the civil war that happened after the German occupation, you know, in Aegean and Macedonia, were any of your um, relatives involved in going there to fight for Macedonia in the civil war? Not really. Not that you remember? Not really. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't remember, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember, okay. i tell you the truth. And uh, I don't hear anything if I... I don't hear anything like that. Okay. Uh, so, if we come back to uh, Canada, uh, when you came here uh, in, uh, as, a, as a young man, what did you do at the beginning? The beginning? To my, make a living, yeah. To make a living, my first job was at 90 cents an hour dishwasher. Okay. I was washing dishes. Where did you Queen work? and Carla, rendezvous restaurant. Were so, they Macedonians? They are Macedonians there? from Banica, uh -huh. good people. And what are their names? Uh, the name was uh, Lazo Pecinis. Mm -hmm. was the owner, Lazo Pecinis. Yeah. At Queen and? Queen and Carla. Uh -huh. And Carla. how long did you do six months. dishwashing? I uh -huh. was uh, washing dishes six months. And uh, after that, I went to a couple of places, like a, a jewelry place. You worked in a jewelry In a jewelry shop? place, mm -hmm. two different places. I went to 55 York Street, was a jewelry factory, worked six months. After that, I went to Spadina and uh, Front Street, was another jewelry place I worked there. Uh, was a very, the wage was very low. And uh, somehow I find out was a, the hiring people in Canada Parker, like was a, was a meat place. Meat Canada packing Parker, plant. meat packing, yes, yes. plants. That was a, Kill and Sinclair. Mm -hmm. I went myself there one day. I find out the place, and uh, the the guy who was hiring people was from Jelevo. Was named Boris. I went there. I talked Do you know to his him. Last name? I I don't remember the uh -huh. last name. I tell you the truth. Was named Boris, and uh, I was uh, strong and. Uh, Boris Bogoev, I believe. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Yeah. And. Uh, he says, you got a job, by the way, just put your name here. You don't have to do nothing else. Oh, okay. I don't even know how to fill up all the application. I don't know how to put the address. I just put my name. So Later on, lucky. I bring everything. Very, very lucky. lucky they hired me right away. Yes. I got the job there, 1965, and I worked there till 1982, Canada Parker. And from there... And what were you doing in the plant? In the plant? First of all, I was uh, working in the beef cooler, so people was cutting meat there, and I saw, mm -hmm. like, uh, and I was taking the meat, wipe the meat from the uh, blood from the, yes. like Clean a sawdust, yes. yeah, wipe it and put it on a shelf, quick, mm -hmm. so fast, you gotta be fast there. And after that, they transferred me to uh, bacon department, where they slice the bacon. Yeah, I was their machine operator, so I was doing the best job, better than anybody else. It was five, six machines there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the time come, I find out in a the newspaper they're hiring people, caretakers, and a Toronto District School Board. And I make application there, 1982. August 1982, I got a job in the Toronto District School Board as a caretaker. And from there, I worked at the school till 65, till uh, 2009. Retired. I retired in 2009, mm -hmm. till I retired. So mm -hmm. two good jobs I have, and thanks God. Great. And, yeah. and during the time that you were working hard, um, what was your uh, family like, like, uh, life like? You first started, did you live with your aunt originally? Well, my aunt uh, used to live uh, like uh, one year. Mm -hmm. After that, and then what happened? What happened? Uh, my father, brother, my uncle come from Australia here, and uh, I got uh, after two years I got married here. Oh, you got married. I got in married Canada. after two years. I got married in Canada. Okay. Yeah. 1965, July 10. I okay. got married. Tell us about your wife, and okay. uh, we have a picture there. Of uh, can you tell us about the picture first, and then? Yeah, that's me when I came in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a young man. As a young man. So 
I was uh, 20 years old here. Okay, yeah, and is this old. when you met your wife? Yes. Yes, tell us how yes. you met your wife. Met my wife. She come from uh, AJ Macedonia here as a tourist. From what village is she? From Rakovo. And her name? Her name uh, Mary Michalidis. Mm -hmm. Maria. Maria Michalidis, her name. And uh, it was around Easter time. I was going from dance to dance, praise. When you're single, you go everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I meet her one day. And uh, we exchanged there. Uh, Where did you meet? I met her first time in the Mortimer and Caxel. It was a little park there. Mm -hmm. it was a police station there. First time I met my wife there. How, so, did, how did it happen? To well, it happened there? because uh, uh, somebody gave me a phone number. She was living with her cousin there in Salmon State. Mm -hmm. She was living with her cousin. And uh, I phoned her. She says, uh, I'm not allowed to come at night, only on daytime I can come and see you. Mm -hmm. And we meet there. So you decided to meet at the police station? The police station, was a park there, police station. Uh, maybe you people remember that police station that time. Uh, I'm sure Virginia knows any. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, so that's when you saw yeah, her first? Yeah, first time uh -huh. I saw her there. Mm -hmm. And from there, we got uh, like a connection and... Uh, we're going out, there and here, and uh, she says, uh, if you want to marry me, because uh, her time is, uh, you know what I mean, she got to go back. So she came as a visitor. She, she came as a visitor, yeah, mm -hmm. she got to go back. And uh, to stay with her cousin, uh, it's not easy, she has to pay rent. And I says, okay. Mm -hmm. I take her to my aunt's house, we stay about uh, three months there, and uh, we went to another place, like we rent another mm -hmm. house there. We rent another house, and uh, we stayed there for six months. Where did you stay? In which part of the city? We stay in uh, Queen and Alton Avenue. The street was at Alton, 25 Alton Avenue. It was between Greenwood and Leslie. Mm -hmm. It's a street, they call it Alton Avenue. Yeah, we stay there. There's a lot of Macedonian people in that street from Neverland, from uh, German, from a uh, uh, friend of mine, there was a, his name, uh, 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 they used to own the Geneva restaurant, those guys, they used to live there, on the Alton Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know these people, because I used to go to Geneva restaurant when I was single, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, Europe, Europa. So, the, that time. Uh, when, when you were single, where did, where did the young Macedonians go? The young Macedonia. The young they Macedonia. used to go to the Queen and Parliament. They used to play billiard there. What, Always. What, I used to play billiard there. With in a restaurant or was a was a billiard place, a restaurant too. And uh, we meet in a Geneva restaurant. We meet in a Europa. Was a two restaurant. Mm -hmm. And was there yeah. was Lambo was the owner and Atsvetko there. I know those guys. From what village? Well, I think one of them was from German, from uh, AJ Macedonia. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one I forgot. I don't know. Was it... And with your wife, well, just before you got married or, or, or shortly after you got married, you used to go to any Macedonian activities, dances? Was there any uh, organized activities? Before I got married, I used to go to uh, Macedonian Bulgarian church because it was uh, so the climate was not uh, that time ready. You know what yes. I mean? So Which I used church to go, was that? Saint George. You went. I to used to go to Saint George for the Easter dance. Yes. Christmas dance. I used to go there when I was single. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there were lots and, of Macedonian uh, people yeah, there. After mm -hmm. the bill Saint Clements, and I moved to Saint Clements. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's continue on with your uh, with your family life. Then, uh, as you. Uh, stayed uh, as you were married and then... Well, we got uh, married July 10, 1965, my, my wife and I. 1966, uh, we have the first child. Uh -huh. How many the, children do you have? We have uh, four kids, three okay. sons and one daughter. The, the older son, his name is Steven, he's born... Uh, uh, May 16, 1966, he was uh, 
married. Uh, he got married in 1990 for six years. Mm -hmm. He got divorced. He had a son, Jonathan. His son was born in 1996 and he's 22 years old now, mm -hmm. his son. And your other son? My other son, his mm -hmm. name Mike, and he's married to Dana. Terzievska, the girl, his wife from the same village, from Grashnica. They got two children. One of them is uh, Angelo, is a boy. It's uh, uh, born uh, 92, 1992. And uh, June 21, 92. And uh, he's got sister. She's born... Uh, uh, May 27. Her name is Amanda. She is 22 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, my daughter, the third one, she is born 19... Your daughter is Sylvia? Sylvia. Uh -huh. She is born 1972. Uh, what her husband is uh, Michael Vulkanovsky, but in short, they call it now Vulcan. They changed the name to Vulcan. Uh, one of my son-in-law, father was in a Wohrit. They call them Vulkanovsky, last name. Mm -hmm. Here they changed to Vulcan. But uh, anyway, uh, they got two kids, my daughter and my son-in-law. Uh, one of them is a boy, the other one is a girl. Uh, her name is Sveta Vulcan. She's born December 1st, 1996. Mm -hmm. 1996. And Christopher Vulcan, my nephew, is born 1998, November 8th. Uh, and uh, I got another son, the youngest son, is named Louis Dimitrovsky. He's married with uh, Rosemary Kotsevsky. They are married 2008, June 29. They got little beautiful daughter. Her name is uh, Emma. She's born December. 28, 1913. So she's the youngest. She's, she's the, the youngest. Baby. She's the baby. <laughs> Just a baby. Yes. Every time I see her, she make my day. <laughs> yes. And we have a really nice picture of you here with uh, with your wife. Can you tell us about that picture? Is that when you got married? Yes. That picture, yeah. When we got married here. And the other one is a 50 years anniversary. When did yeah. you have your 50th anniversary? Congratulations. When did we have it? Uh -huh. well, we have it uh, last year, was it? No, 1915, November 22. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a... Nice happy celebration. Day. Nice celebration. Big uh, celebration. Big celebration. Yes. We have, uh, like, 180 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice way very to celebrate nice, yeah. your 50th anniversary. Yes. Yes, That's great. Yes, yes. So you were very busy with your family all along and working hard in Canada to yes. to make a good life. To make good life. And yes. in the meantime, uh, Vlade, were you involved in any Macedonian uh, organizations or uh, church um, organizations or other well groups? Uh, from day one, I'm involved with United Macedonia. From tell day us, one. Tell us about that. So from day one, because I joined United Macedonia. So I don't know exactly what day, but as soon as they exist, United Macedonian, I was involved, like member and involved, like uh, doing things, going to meetings, uh, organize things uh, for whatever venture, for a picnic, helping like... Uh, so as soon as you came to Canada, uh, you joined? Yes, I joined. Tell United us about Macedonia. what motivated you to become involved in United Macedonians so quickly as soon as you came to Canada. Well... You know how is it? When you're Macedonian, you love uh, you, that. That's in your blood. You love to be involved somewhere and uh, to continue your roots. So, and I joined the United Macedonian, yeah. and uh, I'm still. You were an even, active member. Yeah, I was a just a member. Mm -hmm. That's all. But I was uh, like uh, uh, doing more things than like a lot of things, helping. United, help the president, the vice president, uh, uh, doing things like uh, organizing things and uh, all kind of things. So, mm -hmm. what kind of events did you uh, did you attend? Help to organize with being involved with the United Macedonians. Well, we used to 
we're doing God's Avatcha. We're doing it in the picnic. We used to uh, organize things. We used to do New Year's Eve before, too. We just stopped uh, not too long ago. And uh, we used to uh, do a demonstration, organize for demonstration. What kind of demonstrations? Tell us about some of your memories in that. What well, demonstration? Uh, we've done it just uh, after Macedonia separate from Yugoslavia. We've done a lot of demonstrations. We're fighting for our rights, for, for Macedonian name, for our country. So that was the, our goal. For Macedonia to become for independent. Macedonia to become independent, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I was involved for uh, four years in uh, St. Dimitri at church, like uh, I was in a board of directors there. Sv Sveti Dimitri. First in, from beginning. In uh, That Marco? was in Marka. Uh -huh. uh, uh, 98 or something, and uh, you were in the I was board in the of directors? board of directors there mm -hmm. for four or five years, or four or six years, something like that. And from there, I was living uh, in Toronto, it was a little bit far for me. Mm -hmm. and now, how did you become involved in, uh, in the church in Markham from the beginning? What was your interest in, in becoming involved there? Well, they advised me there. I was member for that church. I was member in uh, Sotanela, member in, in all churches. I'm member. Okay, I pay my dues. And uh, so the president asked me there, I need your help. Come and join me in my board. Okay, I says, that's fine. And I went there and I worked. And the time I went there, we bought those houses in St. Dimitri. Tell us I about was a board of directors. What, we bought what, what two houses. Houses were they? Well, the house is in the back of the church. Yes. And uh, the sign was for sale, and, and we discussed, mm -hmm. executive, uh, we got to get this, the first house. Mm -hmm. We got the house, painted, we rented, and after it was a few years, there was another house for sale. Let's get the other one. It's uh, mm -hmm. our property there now. Good investment. And we've done it. Good investment, yes. So they still have so those houses? They still have those houses, mm -hmm. they're getting a rent, and that's why it's worth everything now, it's a double, more than a double. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you were involved in the, in the churches, and how about your village? Was there a village organization that you belonged Was to there, as well? Yes, my village, uh, Grashnitz organization, uh, exists since 1982, and uh, uh, if I'm sure 100 percent, I become president uh, in that village, I think, uh, 1988. And from, from that time till now, I'm still the president. You're still the president I'm still the village. president, yes. Okay. From that time till now. We have a lot of activity. We just stopped last two years. We used to celebrate Sveti Atan as January 21st. And uh, a lot of people, whatever you ask people, we used to have a lot of people like uh, for that day. You had a banquet. Banquets. And where January twenty first. The banquet we usually done it in Sv 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 Clement. Saint Clement. All the banquets yes. there. So a few times we have over five hundred people. Five hundred sixty, I remember. I still got home the the you know the uh, the setup the yes. the, the stuff mm -hmm. and. Uh, so it was a good success. We've done it good for the village, for the Macedonian people here, not just for Grashnitsa people, for, for all the Macedonian people. They used to come there from everywhere, from Banitsa, 40 people, from Gornicho, from everywhere, from Trasia, from everywhere. From all so, of Macedonia. From all over Macedonia. I have people there. And that's why everybody knows me. Uh -huh. Because uh, and you're still... I used to go everywhere too, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Or every day make a banquet or a celebration, I was the first one to go there. Mm -hmm. And now you have, uh, you're still the president? I'm still the president, yeah. You have a board of directors? We have a board of directors, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and uh, besides being involved in United Macedonian, your, your, um, your own uh, village association, Grajnica, were you involved with other... Um... I was involved with the St. Clement Church. Yes, tell us about your involvement with St. Clement. 
I joined St. Clement Church where Jim Sharkovsky was the first president. For four years I was in a borough, like a, in a, in a borough director mm -hmm. for Jim. After Jim Sharkovsky, come Sasha Popovsky. He was the president. Sasha put me as a chairman of the church. And I was uh, three years, Sasha was the president, I was the chairman of the church. And people around me, Everybody loves me. They say, we want you to run for president. We want you to be a president. I said, are you guys with me? Yes, everybody. And uh, here we are, like election come. I said, okay, you guys with me? We're going together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I done it. It was a drag and cost you was uh, running against me. So I win. What year was that, Vladi, uh, when you first won? First one uh, was uh, 2009, March 1st. Mm -hmm. March 1st, I went big. And, uh, and we, who were some of the people on your executive that you were? That time, my executive was uh, Dr. Andy Plukov, who was the vice president. First, second vice president was uh, Petre Popovsky from Brajcino. Mm -hmm. Tanas uh, Jovanovsky was my secretary. And uh, Louis Suklevsky was a treasure. Yes, there, there is a very nice picture here of, uh, of the church um, board of directors, I believe. And that would have been your, your first uh, committee? Yes. Okay. And uh, you worked uh, on, the, on that committee that was for four years? For two years. For two years. Two years. For two years. Uh -huh. After two years was another election. The people they want me uh, to go again, and I see is a is a uh, power here. People they want me again, and I mm -hmm. we started the project to build elevator. Yes, tell us the about last the, two years. the the different uh, fundraising and projects that you had. Well, we done it. Uh, uh, two, three, four fundraising. We done it, two fundraising in the first year, mm -hmm. and uh, four fundraising altogether. So we uh, got hundred thousand dollar in the first banquet, first fundraising. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so my idea was to share with the board of directors, everybody. I went for president for one thing, just to build elevator at that church. Tell us why you thought it was a very important project to build an elevator. Well, I go places, uh, hotels, uh, motels, uh, some churches have been, a lot of churches, they have elevators. I see people, uh, they cannot get through. The, 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 the aging the, population, Yes, right? uh, population aging and uh, people I see one time was a uh, what's his name? Uh, in in Sveti Klimen, yeah. I saw on my on my eyes was a the, was a from the parliament from Queens Park was a guy in a wheelchair. I think it was a Alexander name was a popular guy something. He was and, and they carry him four people representative. They carry him. Yes. Uh, they have something something in the Macedonian church. Yes. And I, at that time. I was thinking, if I become president one day, I will fight mm -hmm. for the elevator. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, the people around me, <coughs> we discuss, it's a good idea, everybody agree, we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> one day, I saw Louis Temalkovsky in Markham. I says, Louis, I he was a representative. He was a representative. Uh, Canadian Parliament. Canadian right? Parliament, yes. yes. It's an MP. I need your help. She says, uh, what kind of help? I says, is there any chance if we can grant from the government from the government some money? Because we don't have that much money to build elevator. I says, Lady, I know one guy. He says, I'm going to arrange a meeting. You can meet them and uh, go from there. And I got Peter Popovsky with me. We make an appointment, we meet that guy. And that guy says, we talked talk for a couple hours. <coughs> he says, uh, I'm going to come to see the church. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take your money, he says, for the application. I'm going to see the church. 
of the church should like uh, be able to we can able to get some money. Mm -hmm. He come one day visit the church. Says no problem. Ninety percent we're gonna get money. He says because the church is a separate from the house. So you were successful in getting a grant from the uh, Ontario government? Yes, like I say, uh -huh. uh, the guy, he says, I'm going to visit the church and tell you guys how much chance we have it. And as uh, soon as he comes there, we look around there, he says, okay, no problem. He says, 90% you guys are going to get the grant. And he done the application, we paid him $8,000 just for application. Now, yes. if we don't get money, we lose that money, but we risk. Yeah. Okay. You took a chance. We take a chance. Yes. We decide together, all the board, not myself, the entire board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, finally, after three months, we got from Trillium. He says it's proof. So they prove it. We're gonna get half a million dollar. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But he says you have to raise five hundred to get those five hundred. Now we gotta match that. Mm -hmm. At the church at that time, three hundred twenty-three thousand. And yes. the bank. Yes. Okay. And the other money we raise for the banquets, five hundred thousand, to get that five hundred thousand from the trillion. So we you raise, had to raise five hundred thousand more, or just, we raise like we have a three twenty-five. We raise hundred seventy-five thousand to match the five. To match the five hundred. Okay. Uh, we match that. We got that money, and uh, we're looking for contractors now. Mm -hmm. We got uh, seven contractors. Uh, finally, the board we decide to, we take this guy. We done the drawing, everything, and uh, we're gonna continue like uh, so looking this, for permit now. So this is just for in the two years that you were there. First two years, that uh -huh. was it. Uh, the, yes, first two years. The first two years. The third year, when I was second term, we start building. We got the permit already. Yes. We got the permit third year. And uh, in one year time, was, uh, the elevator was done. Mm -hmm. And uh, take a look, how is it now? You can see the Macedonian church from CNE Tower. Yes. Look like a White House, like a, like a Washington. You yes. can see it. So you did some renovations Renovation, and to build well, the uh, yes, elevator. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. So and we extend the parking lot. Yes. Everybody knows that, uh, so it's a... Uh, uh, we done it. Uh, we put new roof, and we done a lot of things. That was in so, your second year. In my second, second year, we done second term was mm -hmm. a, we extend yeah. The elevator. The elevator, the parking lot, and the roof. When was your second term? What year was that? My second term mm -hmm. was from 2011 to 2013. And when was the elevator finished and built? The elevator was finished. I think it was a. Was a 2011. Okay. 2011. So your term finished in 2013? 2013, mm -hmm. the end of February. The end of February. The end of February. Mm -hmm. And during those four years, Vladi, that you were also uh, president at the church, uh, were there any uh, banquets uh, where dignitaries came that were important? Well, we done it uh, uh, like uh, St. Clement's Night. Mm -hmm. uh, every year, it's a tradition yes. for the church, and uh, uh, also New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. uh, Easter, Christmas, and uh, did you have banquets, any... fundraising uh, like uh, twice a year. Yes. Did you have any major banquets at Saint Clement uh, in honor of some Macedonian president or? Yes. Premier. Yes, uh, well, we've done it for uh, our premier was twice. In my turn, this is we have Nikola a big banquet, Nikola Gruevski. Mm -hmm. We done it and uh, was a success. We have a lot of people at uh, both times, and uh, that was two thousand and eleven. Uh, Gruevski was uh, no two thousand and ten, I think. Gruevski mm -hmm. was two thousand no, and ten or eleven. Mm -hmm. We come twice. I remember we have uh, two banquets and. Uh, was a success. Like uh, it was a lot of people, but it was a lot of work for the committee. Work. A and lot of work for the committee, but I'm glad we have done it. And the president and, uh, Ivanov came as well. Ivanov you? came, yes, and uh, the end of my turn, I think, was it? Mm -hmm. Was the Mendo turn or my turn? 
and I am the one of them. We were another banquet there that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that was a lot of hard work for you. Uh, well, I was 24 hours a day there. Tell you the truth. Seven days a week. Okay. When we put the application for the permit, I was every day on a civic center looking for a way to get the permit quick. For you the know? elevator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finally, I meet one Macedonian girl there who was working at a desk. She says, don't worry, everything looks good. You know, when she say that, she gave me a little bit... Uh, motivation. Yes, you were motivation. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. So, Vladia, what motivated you to, to be so involved in the Macedonian community even after, uh, even as you were, uh, you know, working hard for the board uh, of education, that was your livelihood, plus you had your growing family. What motivated you to be so involved and give so much of your time? Well, it is, it is in my genes, in my blood. I am born that way, born. To? To help, to create something, to, to help people, to do something for the people. Mm -hmm. And why, why in the Macedonian community? Well, because I'm Macedonian. Mm -hmm. So that me means a lot to you? Yes, 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 yes. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. uh, Vlade, can you tell us, uh, in all this time that you came to Canada by yourself, uh, as a young man, and now looking back, what are you most proud of in your life here in Canada? Well, I'm proud because uh, what I think, I accomplished a lot of things. I have a good family, a lot of people around me, friends, wherever I go. And uh, I'm proud, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal. So. Yes, and we actually have uh, a lot, an example of the many awards that you have received for your voluntary work for the church and for the community. And can you tell us about this one particular uh, uh, award from the Macedonian Embassy? Well, this one I got, uh, yeah. For the 20th anniversary. For, a, for the 20th anniversary, I got from the Embassy, from the Macedonian Embassy. And uh, I got many more, but uh, That was anyway, a special that one. That was a special, this one was a special one. Because it's the 20th anniversary of the independence well, of Macedonia. Independence of Macedonia, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that time I was the president at the church. Yes. So it was yeah, a was so great happy. honor to yes, get great that. Honor. Yes, great honor, yes. I was uh -huh. so happy. Uh, Vlade, you're an example of uh, a Macedonian immigrant who's been really successful here in Canada to build a meaningful life. Can you tell us what advice you have for the younger generations of Macedonians now who are, um, who are here in Canada? Well, my advice to the young Macedonians in Canada, to be brave, to go to school, to uh, know their roots, what the grandparents, what the parents, they are, they, they should continue the, the, the same road, same roots, and to uh, be together, like uh, everybody together. When we are together, we can uh, do something. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, that's good advice. And uh, for the young Macedonian parents now uh, who, who, who have come here, how can you... Um, what can you say to them about, uh, to encourage them to keep their Macedonian heritage? Na makedonski moži da počnime sega malku, što se kaže da mu kažiš kako v sovet na mladite roditelji, kako da prodolžat da rabotat so nivnite deca, za da se gradi v njih makedonskite koreni, kako ti še si mnogu sakaš za Makedonija da praviš se. Što misliš treba da se pravi so našite deca tuga? So našite deca treba malce advice da trenat po pravi opad, da si odat na škola, da ima respekt za vse ko jeden in za pomladi in za postavi da se involv v makedonskata komuna, da 
во македонските цркви, во македонските организации, било во Јунеет Македонија, било во историкал сосајати, да, да бидат инвалв. И тоа е мојата цел. Mm -hmm. значи... За младите родители сега што yeah, за младите родители, yeah. mm -hmm. да продолжат, да си има добар лайф, адвайс на младите, да бидат инвалв со во македонската комуна и мислам тоа е адвайс. И тоа е многу добар адвайс, владе од тебе, од ти имаш многу а, пракса, експириенс, ја имаш многу експириенс на мастонен комьюнити и ја знаеш дека ја имаш многу хард ворк, волонтиринг, да ја имаш многу хард ворк, да ја имаш So that was very good advice to the young Macedonians to encourage their children to continue to be involved. Well, thank you, Vesna. Thank you for coming and uh, sharing with us your story and letting us know uh, a little more about you and your involvement in the Macedonian community. Thank uh, you, Vlade. Thank you very much also. Uh, I appreciate to be here uh, with you, with uh, Virginia, with Zoran. And, uh, I enjoy my day. I love it.